to be really honest with you, I've lost many large donors or prospective donors over this issue. And it puzzles me because I think the tempting thing to say is to have some conspiratorial explanation that they have money at stake and government contractors, Raytheon or whatever. I don't think that's true, actually. I think there's something else going on in the psychology of an establishment in both the Republican Party and the Democrat Party that is reluctant to the idea that we somehow can't be the ones fighting the war that's the popular war of the day, the politically correct war. I think there's no such thing as a politically correct war. And so what I ask is, how are we actually going to end this conflict in a way that advances US interests? And the thing that puzzles me, Tucker, is nobody in either party is talking about this right now. The Russia-China alliance is the single greatest threat that the US actually faces today. And we are pushing Russia closer into China's arms by actually continuing to arm Ukraine. So what I've said is that I would negotiate a deal that ends the Ukraine war, frees the current lines of control. Yes, that means giving part of the Donbass region to Russia. I would make a hard commitment that NATO never admits Ukraine to NATO. And those seem like unspeakable words in the, certainly the Republican donor class, but we get something greater in return, which is that Putin in that case would have to exit his military partnership with China and remove nuclear weapons from Kaliningrad, which border Poland and get the Russian military out of Cuba and Venezuela and the West. And this is a deal that Putin should do because he ends up winning, he gets things that he doesn't have today, but it secures American interests too. And, and I do think in a weird way, it does take an outsider to get that job done. Because if you want someone to fix a problem, you don't turn over the keys to somebody who actually broke the thing in the first place. If you want to fix it, maybe have somebody who didn't break it in the first place. And that's part of why I'm in this race as an outsider.